Hi guys, today we'll be talking about a very unique topic today. What is MySQL? Um, what makes MySQL unique in comparison to other relational database management software? Um, today we'll be talking about how to install um, MySQL on Windows. So um, this video is an eye opener. I uh, will also explain how you can install it on Mac OS and Unix. Um, now, the fact is that MySQL is not the only um, uh, PAMI relational database management software. Uh, MySQL um, is a very, very popular and unique um, database management software. Today, I'll we'll be talking about giving you an intro. So, if you are new and you want to learn more about MySQL, this is the right place to be. Um, as I said before, we'll be talking about how to download and install uh, MySQL. Now, um, apart from MySQL, we have other relational database management software like Oracle, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, MongoDB, and much more. Now, SQL stands for Structured Query Language. So, you'll be using um, MySQL as a database management software to extract SQL in totality. Now, um, MySQL, as I said before, is a very popular open source relational database management system. Um, it is open source, it is free, so you don't need to pay for it online. It is ideal for both um, small and large applications. It's very fast, reliable, scalable, and easy to use. It is cross platforming that it's compatible with any of the system, whether it is Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. Um, it is compliant with the ENSI SQL standard. It was released in 1995 and um, it was developed by what, Oracle. It was named after the uh, co founder, Multi Wideness Daughter, Fordline. Um, MySQL is very, very robust and unique and we ask ourselves this basic question what are those who use MySQL? In reality, MySQL is used by a very large number of web developers around the world. MySQL um, is, um, has been used by huge websites like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Uber, and much more. And one basic that MySQL is the primary database management system used by the content management system like WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, and much more. Now, um, MySQL is the main backend database for most websites. So, MySQL is, is used um, uh, along with uh, server side scripting language like PHP um, and also web design um, languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, today we'll be talking about how to work, download and work, install work, MySQL. Um, so, let's go, guys. It's very easy. So, first, Let's down, um, go to our home, um, type MySQL, MySQL download. So the next thing we're going to do now, click on what MySQL download. It's always good to go to the word, uh, site that was the primary site for the word application, which is MySQL. Next, click on download. From download, scroll down, click on what MySQL um, community what, um, download. Next, next click on um, MySQL installer for Windows. Too. As I said before, you always need to watch, check the, um, the version of your, of your system. I'm using Windows 10 64 bit, but you need to check. And if you want to check, you go to what, um, your browser from there, go to my computer, scroll down here, right click from right click, go to what properties. So I'm using 64 bit um, operating system for Windows. So don't make the mistake of installing a 32 bit for what 64 bit application. Very, very, very important. The next thing that you need also to do is that um, let's go back to our application. Yes, sir. let's go back to our application. So the next thing you have to do now, uh, so we're choosing what 64 bit operating system. Click on download. It takes like a minute or so to download. The next thing you have to do, you're going to log in. So just click on load things and continue. So you see the patch of the what SQL software being downloaded now. Next, click on what um, software, click on run. It's very easy to download. You yes, um, And it's lightweight, which makes it very easy also. It doesn't drag your system. Um, so let's hold on for a minute. Second. So now you choose the first option, developer edition, very, very important. Let's click on next. Then these are the patches, the requirements. Now click on next. So ask you. So these are the components that need to be downloaded. So. Uh, so you have to wait for this to be done later. So let's just hold on for a second and uh, we'll get back. So the my the MySQL components, yes, I had been downloaded here. So here we have to hold on for a minute or so. 
um, it will take much time you understand so you can see how the patches of on my screen being downloaded here so um it is not finished so let's just hold on yeah you can see that most of the components have been was um downloaded so um let's click on next yes and, and click on execute for the solution to work for so uh, here yeah, all the components of uh, my sql workbench will be was installed so let's hold on for what um some minutes it's a very fast process so next click on next again so this is the product configuration give it as default so let's hold on on this Now this thing is very very important so we have to put the root credentials here so our default user our admin user here is our root and you have to put a strong password for what um, for your root user this is very very important you understand and ensure that you remember what the password for the root user also here very this is a very essential important post <clears throat> so we'll see that what is after putting the username and password, you'll see the installation what is successful. So click on finish. So as I said before, the installation of my high school you know, is a very what easy and unique what, uh, process. It's very direct, and we should also know that what my school is a very popular open source relational database management system. It is fast, it is reliable and scalable, and it has been around since 1995, and um, it has, can be used for a lot of work. Database was um, configurations. So um, the next thing that we will now do now, I will now talk about how do we select statements with um, MySQL. How do you create database? How do you create tables? These are the things that we look at.